Hello, Arnold. Hey, I see the late night beer bash is a big success. But don't forget, in the morning, you got a conference of below 60 IQ YouTubers. And if you're late, your career is toast. The bladder comfortably holds 150 to 200 milliliters of fluid. But after 400 to 500 milliliters, you'll feel some pressure. You must have drunk a lot. E looks like the boss is in a bad mood. And for sure, he ain't gonna let anyone take bathroom breaks. Fluid is absorbed into the kidneys, then descends through the ureter into the bladder. You're probably feeling a bit stressed, Arno, because now you gotta hold the pee in with your muscles. I recommend you don't laugh, Arnold, or sneeze, or cough. Anything like that weakens the muscles, and you might start leaking. If you hold it in for a long time, the bladder walls can stretch, so you can hold even more pee pee. But this can be dangerous. Bacteria and acids in your urine can crawl back up into your kidneys, causing cystitis and pyelonephritis. It seems, Arnold, that everyone approves of your dissatisfaction with company policy. Come on, Arnold, I know you can hold it a little longer. Just 50 more talks and then you're free. Well, that's it. Time to go home. And Arnold, I advise you not to make any sudden movements. If your bladder is that full, it could pop. Yay, you're almost home. Now we just have to get through the morning rush hour. Move slowly. Oh no, it seems your neighbor's coming, Arnold. You know, the guy who likes to give everyone a big hug when they meet. Ooh, that's not good. Six months later. Are you dreaming of being Spider-Man? That's cool and all, but just don't tell me you want to get bitten by the spider. It's a black widow. The poison of this spider is 15 times stronger than the poison of a rattlesnake. It's good that they don't attack people first, or you'd be sorry. Wait, Arnold, did you swallow the spider? The path to the stomach through the esophagus is like a steep water slide with a pool of hydrochloric acid at the bottom, and that acid will easily neutralize the spider's venom. If you wash the spider down with a glass of water, it'll reach the stomach in just two seconds. But without any liquid, its fall will take nine seconds, and it has lots of time to bite you. Get ready! Black Widow Venom contains the neurotoxin alpha latrotoxin. When you're bitten, this neurotoxin attaches to the receptors of nerve cells and causes an influx of calcium there. And this releases hormones that cause convulsions and paralysis. Arnold, you did want superpowers, didn't you? Now your abs can stand even a sledgehammer. And what about a four-hour erection? or eyes that protrude from their sockets. Somehow, I think you look more like a supervillain, Arnold. Fortunately, only 5% of adults die from black widow venom. After 12 to 48 hours of the most terrible torment, the effect of the poison stops. Arnold, no, stop! That's just an innocent little house spider. New burrito flavored toothpaste? What the heck? No, don't eat it, you moronical! Toothpaste contains fluoride, and eating as little as 0.01 ounces of toothpaste can increase the level of fluoride in your body. If you were to eat like this for 30 days, you could develop fluorosis, and then your mouth would turn into an art gallery, where each and every tooth would have a different and unique pattern and color. Arnold, I think you're best at monetizing experiments on your own body. But there is a little problem. Not just tourists want to take photos with you, but also dentists. After all, you're the only person who's been eating toothpaste for a week. It's hard to believe, but if you eat toothpaste with fast food, the risk of suffering from obesity increases by several times due to the antimicrobial agents that are supposed to fight bacteria in the oral cavity. They'll destroy the microbiome in your stomach, disrupt your metabolism, and blow you up like a birthday balloon. I have two pieces of news. The good news, your dealer has been caught and is facing jail time. And the bad news, you're in horrendously awful condition, and your diagnosis is toothpaste addiction. Yes, who would have thought that 
because of some toothpaste, you'd end up on the verge of death. Now, a long and serious rehabilitation awaits you. Triclosan is a substance in some toothpaste that can knock out your nervous system from just one tube. You'll feel your limbs go numb, and chills will run through your body nonstop. But running will probably be out of the question for you, as your neurotransmitters will lose control over your muscles. Arnold, it's time to stop with the toothpaste. And there's only one really effective method. A body reset. Voila, and you're good as new. Here we go. Let's see how it went. Arnold, if it's you, gurgle three times. Now wave your fin. Okay, spin around. Do a backflip. Yes, now I can see that it's definitely you. Toby, bad boy, bad. Put the aquarium back. Whoops. Arnold, hold your breath. You'll die if you inhale gastric juices. We have seven seconds to pump out all the acids from the stomach while you're moving through the esophagus. Did you just black out? Just like a real piranha. When they're in a shoal, they can easily gut a whole cow in just 10 minutes. But the moment the piranha is alone, it faints from the slightest rustling. Fish need a lot of fresh water. Therefore, it will slam all four liters of the stomach with it. Here. Have a snack, Toby's favorite treat. But be careful with the teeth. A piranha bite is stronger than any other creature on Earth, even including dinosaurs. The last thing you'd want right now is a hole in your stomach. Actually, I have a plan. Toby, open your mouth and try to push Arnold out. Arnold, you go swim to the exit. Come on, guys, do it together. Arnold, you seem to have confused the entrance with the exit. Turn off your Google Maps and start crawling. Toby, you keep trying to push him out. You won't be able to get out of there dry. Now, where did I put my 5-liter enema bag? Oh, here it is. That's better. Now you just have to swim for about 4 meters. Crikey, the things you've been putting in your mouth. I haven't seen a Tamagotchi since the 90s. The water's almost finished. Paddle to the light. How are you feeling? Are you speaking Klingon? The next day. Spicy peppers, mega spicy wasabi chips, KFC wings. Oh, Arnold, I wish you'd be more careful. Capsaicin is responsible for the spiciness in all products. It affects the taste receptors, creating a sensation of burning. This triggers an adrenaline rush, increases heart rate, and raises body temperature. Spicy food satisfies hunger faster and increases energy expenditure, and this contributes to weight loss. But an excess of spicy food can provoke gastritis. That's indigestion. With regular consumption, the sensation of spiciness becomes dull. Arnie, this is your chance! A chili eating contest! And the blazing surfer's gonna be there! So, Arnie, your competitors are a Mexican and the devil himself. And you, Arnold, are gonna be eating the world's hottest chili, the Carolina Reaper. May God have mercy on you. Spicy food doesn't cause stomach diseases. The cause is harmful bacteria that enter the body with raw food products. If the illness isn't progressing, consuming spicy food can even help prevent the spread of bacteria. But remember, if spicy food causes discomfort, minimize its consumption. Keep smiling, Arnold. After all, spicy dishes contribute to the release of the happiness hormone. After coming into contact with the pepper, under no circumstances should you rub your eyes. You'll get a mucous membrane burn. And don't attempt to wash it down with water, as this will actually intensify the burning sensation. Milk can help. The citric acid present in milk, lemon, or orange can wash away capsaicin from the receptors and provide relief. Come on, Arnold, you can do it! Your idol is watching you! That's it! You look like crap! But it was worth it! You cheered up a lot of people! Wait, are you in a coma? You ate a burrito which contained the eggs of some very smart tapeworms. Arnold, just look at this. They built a whole metropolis inside of you. They even built a zoo. Let's check out the zoo. 
Today's Monday, so there's a 50% discount. My God, this is a zoo of pathogenic viruses and bacteria. I admire your interlopers. Spanish flu, plague, Ebola, tuberculosis, swine and bird flu, and a bunch of other rare pathogens all in one place. Look, there's even my favorite, the little studied baronavirus, also known as sad horse disease. It mainly affects horses, cows, rabbits, and other animals. Arnold, I wouldn't put my fingers in the cage if I were you. It's suspected that the infection causes schizophrenia. Arnold, unfortunately, your stomach hurts due to parasites. Look, they're building a highway in your intestines, a water park in your bladder. If they build a data center in your head, you'll most likely kick the bucket because your head is so small. You need to figure out how to expel them from your body. The sooner, the better. If you open all the cells of this Pandora Zoo, most likely it'll help you expel the worms. Montage. Come on, you've been playing this game for an hour already. Wow, congratulations, Arnie. What did you win? A year's supply of potato chips. Cool. Now, you can eat just chips for an entire year. You need about a pound of chips to cover your daily calorie intake. Over a year, you're going to eat more than 1,500 bags of chips. Let's get started. Ah, that wonderful crunch of chips when you bite into them. Did you know that without this sound, chips seem 15% less tasty? Our brain subconsciously identifies crunch as an indicator of freshness. So I guess that means that when you eat something spoiled, all you need to do is listen to a loud crunch sound. Really, it turns out eating chips is not cool at all. They contain a lot of trans fats, which double the chance of developing depression, and they reduce brain activity by 25%. Come on, buddy. Let's try these most unusual chips with flavors like strawberry and cucumber, Pepsi, and even squirrel meat. By the way, in reality, there's no air inside a chip bag. It's concentrated nitrogen. They pump it into the bag so that the chips don't break and so that oxygen doesn't react with the oil in the chips. This way, they remain fresh and crispy for up to three months. Feeling weak already, are you, buddy? Let me tell you what's coming next. Due to a deficiency of vitamin B12, you're heading for baldness, loss of vision, and a very likely death from cirrhosis of the liver. And that's not all. There are 75 more slides. You think you're eating potato chips, don't you, buddy? This famous brand doesn't really produce chips at all. They only contain about 40% potato. So at best, this food could be considered baked goods. So Arnie, did you give up chips? Kudos to you, buddy. I think you can treat yourself to some arcade games. Where to start? I suggest the special Suicide Burger from Burger King. It's got four patties, four slices of cheese, and bacon. 800 calories. And here comes the Mickey D's French fries. They contain 19 hidden ingredients. Arnold, eat! One burger patty can consist of parts from a hundred different cows at once. In total for the fast food industry, 50 million cows are butchered a year. Are you finished already? Then drink some soda. It's deliberately free here because it wets your appetite. Thankfully, to satisfy your urges, there are already 39,000 McDonald's open in 120 countries around the world. And in the UK, recycled oil from french fries even fuels trucks. Over the past 20 years, the number of overweight people in the world has tripled. You better stop, Arnold, because with a diet like this, you'll gain 10% of your body weight per month. And this will lead to... Arnold, stop already! You now have type 2 diabetes. You're depressed and your blood vessels are chock full of fat. And this could easily cause you to suffer a heart attack. Fast food is extremely high calorie and is practically devoid of vitamins and minerals. 
my advice. You need to urgently switch to healthy food cooked at home. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. There you go. Good for you, Arnold. How about I'm going to visit you for dinner tonight?